टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज सॉर्टिंग सॉर्टिंग इज नथिंग बट अरेंजिंग द डेटा इन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर द टर्म सॉर्टिंग केम इन टू पिक्चर एज ह्यूमन रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सर्चिंग क्विकली देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स इन आवर रियल लाइफ दैट वी नीड टू सर्च फॉर लाइक अ पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड इन डेटा बेस रोल नंबर इन मेरिट लिस्ट a particular telephone number in telephone directory a particular page in a book etc all this would have been a mess if the data was kept unordered and unsorted but fortunately the concept of sorting came into existence making it easier for everyone to arrange data in an order hence making it easier to search so sorting arranges data in a sequence which makes searching easier so sorting is the process of arranging the data in some logical order this logical order may be ascending or descending in case of numeric values or dictionary order in case of alpha numeric value sorting can be classified into two major categories first one is internal sorting in case of internal sorting it is the method when the sorting takes place within the main memory so the time required for read and write operations are considered to be insignificant here example like bubble sort selection sort insertion sort etc we will learn each and every sort in detail later next type is external sorting it is the method when the sorting takes place with the secondary memory so the time required for read and write operations are considered to be significant here examples are like sorting with keys sorting with steps etc today we will learn one of the popular and important sorting algorithm bubble sort bubble sort is very simple and easy to implement sorting technique until and unless explicitly stated sorting means what ascending order sorting Let's take an example. We have a list of number stored in an array. Logic starts with comparison of first two elements, and if the left element is greater than right element, then swap their position. Comparison proceeds till the end of the array. So, take one example. Here, these element are stored in an array, and they are not sorted. I want to sort this element by ascending order. So, first iteration. first it in case of first iteration you have to compare first two elements compare 25 with 17 because 25 is greater than 17 so swap next compare 25 with 31 31 is greater than 25 so no need to swap then 31 with 13 13 is less than 31 so swap then 31 with 2 2 is less than 31 so swap so next come to second iteration before that see that the greatest element is the last position now next come to second iteration again repeat the same procedure Se compare 17 with 25 because 25 is greater than 17 no need to swap then 25 with, with 13 13 is less than 25 so swap then 25 with 2 2 is less so swap now see 25 and 31 gets its position now third iteration in case of third iteration compare 17 with 13 need to swap because 13 is less next 2 with 17 2 is less swap now 17 25 and 31 gets its position now fourth iteration in case of fourth iteration compare 13 with 2 because 2 is less so need to swap now we get the sorted array now the question comes how many elements are there it is 5 1 2 3 4 5 if the elements are 5 then for sorting how many iterations are required 4 so if the number of element is n then how many iterations are required n minus 
Now the second question. Second question is in the first iteration, how many here comparison needed? Comparison needed one, two, three, and four. Four comparison needed. So first iteration, it needs four comparison. Second iteration, it needs one, two, and three. Three comparison. Third iteration required one, two comparison, and fourth iteration required one comparison. So if there are n elements, then n minus one iterations required. And for first iteration, it requires how many comparison? If the element is five, four comparison required. And second iteration, it requires three comparison. Third iteration, it requires two comparison. And fourth iteration, it requires one comparison. Now you have to study the logic behind that. Now the logic here. The total number of elements say n. So here in our example it is five. So how many iterations are required? It is n minus one. So in our example it is four. So n one is four. N minus one that is four. So this loop will execute for number of iterations. So this loop will execute how many times? Zero to less than four means four times. Zero, one, two, three. So this loop is for number of iteration. And we already Learn that first iteration required four comparison, second iteration required three, third iteration requires two, and fourth iteration required one comparison. So how this program works? See, for first iteration when i equals to zero, j equals to zero, then compare a r as zero with a r as one. Now j come j becomes one. So i equals to zero, j equals to one. You have to compare a r as one with a r as two. When i equals to zero, j equals to three, j equals to two, then you have to compare a r at two with a r at three. And when i equals to zero, j equals to three, you have to compare a r at three with a r at four. So what is the maximum value of j here? N one is what? Four. So when i equals to zero, it is four minus zero. Four minus zero means what? Four. Less than four means three. So maximum value of j is three. So, how many comparison required? Here, four comparison are required, and this is the logic for swap. You have to swap between these two elements if swapping required. You have to check whether a r j is greater than a r j plus one. If a r j is greater than a r j plus one, then take a temporary variable and swap between these two variables. Now, in case of second iteration, when it is second iteration, when i equals to one. Maximum value of j equals to n one minus one four minus one that is three less than three means two so maximum value of j is two so you have to compare a r j with a r one a r one with a r two and when j equals to two a r two with a r three now if swapping check check and if swapping required swap now when it comes i equals to two when i equals to two What is the maximum value of j? It is four minus two. Four minus two means two. Less than two means one. So it is zero and one. So you have to compare a r zero with a r one and a r one with a r two. And if swapping required, check between these two elements. And if swapping required, swap. And finally, when i equals to three, j equals to zero. Why j equals to zero? N one minus I I is three, so four minus three means one. Less than one means zero. So when I equals to three, J equals to zero. One comparison required between A R zero and A R one. If comparison, if A R zero is greater than A R one, then you have to swap. Now this is the logic for bubble sort algorithm. So this is the logic for bubble sort algorithm. Now see the code. So this is our code. You have to take some element from the user. Take take one array of 30 elements. Take some elements from the user, and then then there are two loop. One is for two loop. One is for number of iterations, and second one is for number of comparison. Take one for loop for taking the values from the user, and the last loop is for printing the values. So see this program. This is our program. first loop is for taking the value last loop is for printing the value and this is the code for bubble sort now when we run the program 
subtract the number of elements 5. So I am giving 8, 3, 6, 67 and 1. So we get sorted output. Now your task is to run this program in your computer and feel free to ask any question if any problem occurred. Now we will discuss time complexity of bubble sort. See the discussion. Take one example, then it will be more clear for you. Suppose we want to sort a list or array of elements in ascending order. Ascending order means from smallest to largest using bubble sort. So see, this is our list. The elements are 3, 1, 2. So what is the best case? Base case is when the elements are already sorted in ascending order. So the list is 3, 1, 2. When we sort it in ascending order, it is 1, 2, 3. If the input is 1, 2, 3, then that is the best case for bubble sort. Why? See, first we have to compare 1 with 2. No swapping is required because 1 less than 2. Second, we have to compare second element with third element that is 2 with 3. And also no swapping is required because 2 less than 3. Since no swapping is required and the algorithm only did two comparisons for three number, number of elements in the array. So if there are n number of elements in the array, then n minus 1 comparisons are required for best case. So it is order of n. Worst case. Worst case occur when the least is sorted in complete opposite order means opposite of ascending order. See if the list is 3, 2, 1 then for first part you have to compare 3 with 2 because 2 less than 3 so swapping required. Then you have to compare 3 with 1 because 1 less than 3 so swapping required. In case of second part again you have to compare 2 with 1 because 1 less than 2 so swapping required. Then you have to compare 2 with 3 because 2 less than 3. So no swapping is required. Now see here total number of elements are 3 and total number of comparisons are 4. So if the total number of elements are n, then total number of comparisons are n minus 1 whole square. So it is order of n square. That is the worst case complexity. See, in our example, there are five numbers of elements. So, for first iteration, four comparisons are required. For second iteration, three comparisons are required. For third iteration, it is two. And fourth iteration, it is one. So, there are n minus one comparisons during the first pass, which places the largest element at the last position. 31 is here. There are n minus 2 comparisons in the second step which places second largest element that is 25 in the next to last position. In this way you have to do the other two iterations. So what is the complexity? First case it is n minus 1. Second time it is n minus 2. In this way last it is 1. So it is n into n minus 1 by 2 that is order of n square. So this is your programming assignment. Write a C program to sort elements using bubble sort. Try to execute this program by your own and feel free to ask any question if you are facing any problem. These are your homework. Try to answer this question in the comment section. What is the correct option? Pause this video. Try to answer this question in the comment section. I am waiting for your reply. For getting more and more updates, please, please like, subscribe and share my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.